All right, this is a quick little video uh, from Jay Urish, your CCNA, friendly CCNA guy. I was sent a phone by my Cisco reseller. Uh, basically, it is a Cisco 7940, and when you boot it up, it come up and give you a protocol application invalid. So basically the firmware is corrupt in there. Of course right now you can see it says TFTP timeout because I've already hooked it up and started to do some stuff. So the first thing you need to do is to get new firmware into this phone is have a laptop with a DHCP server loaded on it. And I have one, uh, the software, let's see, DHCP uh, serve, I forget where I got it, something, um, See if, see if I can get a shot of this without too much flicker. Looks like HTTP uh, slash slash R-U-T-T-K-A-M-P dot G-M-X home dot D-E. I downloaded this deal. It's kind of cool. It has a INI file that I basically set up um, saying that, uh, let's see here, uh, with option 66 and option 150 is 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 uh, set up an IP pool of 10, 10, 10, 10 through 14. And let's see here, auto config, bunch of other crap. None of this stuff really matters a whole lot. Healthy user one. Okay, it added to its own file. Anyway, um, the other half of this puzzle is a uh, TFTP server, which I've got another one, uh, TFTPD32. Uh, so I fire that up and basically I point it, I have a folder on my laptop called Cisco Stuff and under Cisco Stuff we've got the VoIP phone stuff, the boot software. So I'm going to choose the 7.5 because basically all I need to do is get this phone to a known state. So now that the server's running, I've got my Laptop setup is 10.10.10.1 with a 24-bit mask. We'll just restart the phone. Star, oops, star six. Whoa, huh, it did it all by itself. I didn't have to reboot. So it looks like it's uh, copying the firmware. Copying to bank one. Let's see, look here. They kind of usually it'll pop up Okay, maybe that was just blasting itself. Okay, configuring IP. And you can see my little DHCP server pops up a thing down here. It says what IP it gave it. Oh, well that sucks. It's still giving me protocol application invalid. Huh. Okie dokie then. So trying to pull down maybe I haven't I need to set up a uh, comp file for this deal or or perhaps even and I've had to do this before I have to start because it's probably got a skinny uh, software load in it from SCCP for a call manager that got hosed so sometimes you can't go to a, a bleeding edge uh, SIP load right off the bat so I've got say 5.0 here. Let me just browse back over to 5.0. We'll go over here. Let's see if, five, if it's happy with 5.0. Oh, I don't see. It's verifying the load. Downgrading application. That's different. Uh, it should be noted that I have not built a specific config file for this phone. Let's copy and see. Oh, I should be seeing some stuff in the log here. Oh, okay, I see. There's my log file. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. And it's looking for the config file. Um, cannot find. What is this? 10, 10, 10. Looking for SIP default.cnf. Oh, okay. Here we go. We are now back to a known state with uh, the SIP 5.0 phone load. 
Instead of coming up with protocol application invalid, it's requesting a config, it's phone unprovisioned, whoop de doo Okay, so I'm back, I'm at 5.0. So now, for, for my buddy Michael, I am going to go and change my TFTP server. We will, we will upgrade, let me browse. We will go to, let's go, let's go to 7.4. So let's see if this goofy phone here, if I do a star six settings, you'll notice the phone's rebooting. And it should come up and it should download the 7.4 SIP load, which is relatively current. They should be able to launch pad from that to the latest uh, SCCP load. And as soon as I have this done, I will wrap up this video and post it on YouTube and send my buddy Michael Charles a link. And put this phone back in that box. And tonight I'll blast a FedEx label and get it out the door. So let's see here. Let it go through the whole thing here. It's going to upgrade from 5.0 to 7.4. And again, I don't need a, a phone-specific config file for it because it'll look at sip dot, or a default.conf in that directory and it'll say, okay, this is, this is uh, what you need to download. And since it doesn't find it, its config file, it just comes back and says unprovisioned, which is awesome. And let's see here, just a few more moments. This is probably as interesting as watching paint dry. Back up here so you can actually see the what the LEDs are doing on the phone. I think when it goes from red LED to green LED, it means the phone is happy and it's confirmed the checksum of the load. But I'm just a lowly CCNA. I haven't done my voice stuff yet. It should come up and it should. I believe it's got the load. It should give me a phone on provision, so I should be able to go into settings. And let's go to status. We'll select status, firmware versions, and it shows me I am at 7.4. Hip hip hooray. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you recover a Cisco desk phone from a bad software load.